2012 and welcome to this uh, quick video where we are going to be setting up the uh, Libero racing boat from Hobby King and um, this is part one and we're just going to install the speed controller okay I'm using the marine 120 amp water cooled speed controller from uh, Turnergy and in the instruction manual it actually uh, tells you gives you a quick guide on whereabouts things should be laid out within the boat uh, it doesn't matter massively um, but in order to keep a good center of gravity and a good performance I will actually follow this guide so it's saying uh, to have the speed controller here tied by two zip ties okay so this one is simply going to sit somewhere in here like that okay and then we will simply zip tie that one at the water there. system okay this one here is the inlet and gets plugged into one of these ones this one here is the outlet then goes to the motor around the motor and out this side so first thing I'll do is connect these ones okay it doesn't really matter which way they go this one here is now going to be the outlet one okay you need to go right on just about this much is fine okay as long as they don't come off now I will put this one in here ready okay put all the wires in and this one actually needs to fasten on this way there okay so within this packet there are the zip ties that you need okay they're clear ones obviously you don't need to use these ones but I'm going to use these ones so we need two out for the ESC installation okay and what we need to do is simply thread these ones under here and then out of one of these ones it can be a bit fiddly uh, what I will do is take some scissors to simply guide these ones out and you need two of these as I say to tie okay, the speed controller onto there put this one in there check that it's in the right position and then we'll simply tie the speed controller uh, all we need to do now though is just connect up the motor wires alright now it doesn't actually matter which ones you connect for now okay it may be later on if the brushless motor runs in reverse you may need to just switch some of them around but for now I would just plug them in in any order okay it doesn't make any difference at all <coughs> plug these ones in where's it gone like so Ugh. okay so there we go all three of the motor wires are now connected obviously later we can make them a bit neater we can push them under there but for now I will leave them like that um, so that uh, we can easily switch them around if we need to at a later date okay so that is the first part of the video done thank you very much for watching now what we're going to do is install the uh, rudder servo and get that part going thank you very much bye bye for now check out part two three four and five